Hello and welcome again to this edition of Fi TV. I'm your host Brad Swanson. We are coming to you from inside the Florida Capitol during the 2022 Florida Legislative Session. We are joined by none other than Sa uh, Senator Jason Broder. Welcome back to the program. Thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it, Brad. All right, S Senator, you work on tons of amazing bills. You're always in the midst of very complex issues. What are you working on this year? Well, one of the things that we passed yesterday out of committee was an additional homestead exemption for teachers, police officers, firefighters, those in the armed service, the Florida National Guard, and child welfare specialists. So, as we all know, we get our $50,000 homestead exemption for most folks that have property over $100,000. This would provide an additional exemption for the $50,000 between $100 and $150 for those folks that I mentioned. We learned during the pandemic how important these folks are to our community and making sure that we're safe and we continue to work, as well as um, what we're finding in a workforce housing crisis. This bill should help alleviate those things for those who are protecting our community. I love it. I love it. Lower taxes. It is so synonymous with your service that you've been in the House. Now you're in the Senate. So that's exciting. So it made its first committee. Where does it go next? Uh, next, uh, we will be going to uh, an appropriations committee to make sure that that kind of impact isn't going to hurt some of our smaller counties. When we take away revenue like that from some of our more fiscally constrained counties, that can create a problem in delivering services for some of those folks. This is really meant to be a reward for those people, and we're not trying to hurt some others in the in the uh, interim. So we want to make sure that we've got a glide path for those that may be most impacted. You feeling good once it gets past that committee? I think so. Uh, you know, what we found out in doing this is that 2.5% of our workforce in Florida are teachers. And so this could be, depending on the populations of certain counties, a very big impact for those. Yeah. All right, thanks. Okay, so what else are you working on? So we've got another bill about protecting religious institutions. One of the things we saw during the pandemic was a really inequitable treatment across the country of houses of worship. And so there were some places that said, you can go grocery shopping, but you can't go to church. You can go to Target, but you can't go to your synagogue. And really, from a congregate standpoint, those places are no different. And so what we have done is we modeled after the emergency order to say that if it, during a global pandemic or an emergency, everything's closed, then sure, churches, synagogues, uh, mosques can be closed. But if anything else is open, so too are our houses of worship. We know that in, during a time of crisis, these may be some of the more, most important places people go. And we want to have it very clear in Florida statute that if you can go to Publix, you can go to church. Well, and, you know, and beyond faith, if you have faith, which is an amazing thing, you think about the mental health um, uh, opportunities that going to the places of worship help in, in those times of crisis. Well, well, we're going to ask you, you, can you come back and check in with us mid-session and tell us how these bills are doing? Absolutely. All right, Senator Broder, thanks for coming on, and we're going to stay tuned to you and these bills. We can't wait to see where they end up. Thanks, Brad. Much thanks. appreciated. That's all the time we have for this episode of Fi TV. Make sure you hit us up on Facebook or our social media feeds for more great interviews like this one. And for now, thanks for tuning in.